Hi, I'm Cheryl Cran, president of Synthesis at Work, a consulting firm. I work with leaders to help build organizations that have teams of committed and inspired employees. Are you a leader who leads by commitment or by compliance? Now there's a difference. If you're a leader who leads by compliance, it would mean that you lean more towards autocracy, more towards discipline style of leadership. However, if you are a leader who leads to commitment, it means that you work to inspire, adapt, and see multiple perspectives. Think about this. Hmm. Compliance would mean old school leadership, you know, back in the 70s and 80s, when the leader said, do this or you're fired. Doesn't really work today. Have any of you heard of Generation Y? <laughs> you say to a Generation Y, do this or you're fired, and they look at you and go, whatever. No, what we need to do today is to be leaders who inspire commitment. The three ways to do that, inspire, adapt, and see the multiple perspectives. So how do you inspire a multi-generational workforce with different perspectives? First of all, you yourself have to be inspired as a leader. A leader who gains commitment is not miserable in their job. A leader who gains commitment is excited about showing up for work, is excited about the vision, is excited about where we're going, and inspires everyone else on the team to want to come along with you. Think Steve Jobs. I know he's got a bad rap for being a leader who didn't have personal skills, but Steve Jobs had an excellent way of gaining commitment to the vision of simplifying technology. It was that simple. Now, if you think of adapt, what do we need to do to adapt? A committed leader or a leader who inspires commitment is constantly adapting to their situation. They're situational leaders, so they're not applying a one rule or one solution fits all to their teams and to their people. If you're adaptive, you're looking at what's the situation, what's needed, how can I make it work for the majority of the people. If you're looking at inspiring and looking at multiple perspectives, Really, when we think about generations, and I have talked about generations and I have some research on it, but really it's about perspectives. We have so many different perspectives in the workplace today. A compliant leader says, everyone must believe in my perspective. So if you're a compliant leader, you say, because I come from this context, such as a baby boomer context, everyone else must adapt to me. However, a committed leader or a leader who gains commitment recognizes that they must be adaptable to the different perspectives. We have a workplace now where we've got a generation who used to have their telephone services on a party line. And I'm one of those. I grew up on a small farm and party line was how we did it. We used to pick up and gossip and listen to the gossip of our neighbors. Nowadays, you've got another generation who is Facebook friendly and all they know is to interact with technology. Now, I know that that may seem simplistic, but I'm going to go back to the original question when I started this video. Are you a leader who inspires commitment or compliance? Think about that. If you'd like to connect with me, please go to my website, CherylCran.com. Check me out on Google+, Facebook, LinkedIn, and Twitter. For more tips, sign up for my newsletter.